Hi everybody, I'm Lisa Sweezy. And I'm Annie Roberts. We're here at the Jimmy Nelson Building for our next episode of Behind the Scenes at Vent Haven. What's this one about, Annie? Well, let's go see what's in a box. Mm. The storage room? Yeah. All right, let's go look. So here we are inside the Jimmy Nelson Building and this is the storage room. So let's check it out, okay? Inside here, you will see 45 45 tubs of stored dummies and other items. What are we gonna do? Let's unbox one. Let's check it out. It'll be like uh, opening presents on Christmas. Okay, pick a number between one and 45, but make it one of these in the front, so I don't have to go <laughs> dig it through a ball. Six, I pick six. Number six it is. I will get tub number six, which is right here in the front. Thanks, Annie. Yay! Let's do tub number six. Here we go. So here we have bin number six. Mm -hmm. Let's see what is inside the bin, shall we? Here we go. Here we go. So when these figures were stored, all of them were wrapped in acid-free tissue paper, which protects the figures, um, protected from light and then from any environmental possibly things. All right, so we're gonna take this off here. We'll see. Oh, I know what this is. Right here on top, Ooh, Annie okay. B. Okay, what do we have? What do we got? What do we got? Well. Got some feet? This is a full-size dummy that's in storage. Ooh. And check him out. Wow. It's a pretty boy. Yeah. Look at this. Okay. This is a full-size Mac figure. Now, Annie B, mm -hmm. why would we store a full-size Mac figure? Yes. You might be asking that yourself. <laughs> it's because we can't display everything. So we do rotate uh, figures on and off exhibit, but as far as museums go, we display a lot more than most museums do. We which do. Which makes us unique. All right, you sit over here for now, buddy. Okay. Thank you, right. beautiful Mac figure. Yes. All right, let's get this tissue paper out of the way. All right. All right. All right, Next. what's this? Oh, this looks like just a head. Okay, let's look at this head. Uh, let's look at this one. Ooh, I like this face. Oh, it is a friendly face. Look at this figure. Yeah. What do you think? Is it missing something? <laughs> Don't wink. Why is he in storage, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> because he needs some eyeballs. He does need eyeballs. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's dummies that aren't in great shape, if they really need uh, some kind of Im improvement or, or uh, just need to be restored, um, we're not comfortable putting them out on exhibit. So why don't we just get new eyeballs? Fix it, lickety split. Well, that depends because if this was the way the figure arrived at Van Haven, that's part of the provenance, that's part of that figure's story. And we certainly don't want to lessen the authenticity of the figure, so. Right. Right. All right. So let's just do one more. Okay. Okay, so last one. Yeah, uh, well, I knew what this one was. I know what this one is <laughs> because this is really common. Oh. This is a sweet little dummy dan doll. Yeah, look at that sweet yeah, face. With his yes. Uniform on. So why would we store a cute little toy like this, Annie? Well, because we have lots of dummy dans, and so and we can't display them all, obviously, for space restrictions. Um, so we pick a, a good example or two and put those out on display. Well, so if, so if I'm going to potentially send you something of mine from my collection, what would make me want to send you something if I think it might be in storage? Well, there were lots of different models of Dummy Dan and lots of different models of the mass-produced figures like Jerry Mahoney and Charlie McCarthy and uh, Danny O'Day. So we might not have that particular model. Um, that's right. We'd love to have it in our collection. And plus it was yours and it has your story with it. So that's important to us. That's right. Yeah. So those are some of the reasons uh, that we have stored figures here at Vent Haven. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed taking a look inside one of the boxes. Thank you so much for watching. If there's something you'd like to see behind the scenes, email Lisa at curator at venthaven.org.